Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a pumpkin patch overlap. I take two fingers at the top in the center underneath and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. On the left hand side I draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over. On the right hand side straight line down connect two fingers over on the left I put a dot and from that dot I draw a flat oval straight line down on the left straight line down on the right slightly curved line over connect on the right hand side I take two fingers put a dot draw a flat oval left hand side straight line down right hand side straight line down slightly curved line over connect right in the center I come straight down put a dot draw a flat oval left hand side straight line down right hand side straight line down slightly curved line over and connect. I come over one finger, put a dot, draw a flat oval, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, slightly curved line over and connect. Whoops! Connect. Now one finger, put a dot, draw a flat oval, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, slightly curved line over, and connect. Now come over here on the left hand side, right about here, put a dot, draw a flat oval, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, slightly curved line over and connect. Come right here in the center, put a dot, draw a flat oval, straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line over and connect. Come all the way down on this left hand side, put a dot, draw a flat oval, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, slightly curved line over and connect. Okay, now on this very first uh, last one that we drew, watch what I do. On the left hand side I draw a curved line out off the page, come on the right hand side, curve line down off the page. I come up to the next I guess these are little flat cylinders. I come to the next cylinder on the left hand side. I draw a curved line down. Bam! It crashes into that one. Don't draw through your drawing. Come on the right hand side. Let's draw another curved line down off the page. Now I come to the next little cylinder. On the left hand side I draw a curved line down. Bam! It crashes into that one. Do not draw through your picture. Come on the right hand side, draw a curved line off the page. Come over, starting over here on the left again, we're going to draw a curved line down off the page, curved line down on the right, bam! It crashes into this one. Don't go any further. Don't draw through your picture. Now come to the next little cylinder. Curve line down, crashes into that one, leave it alone. Curve line down, crashes into that one, leave it alone. We're moving our way up. Now I come to the next one. I draw a big curve line down, 
Bam, it crashes into that, leave it alone, come on the right. Big curve line down, off the page. Now I come to this one over here on the right. Curve line down, crashes into that one. Come on the right, curve line down, off the page. Come all the way over here to the left again. Curve line down, off the page. Curve line down, bam, it crashes into that, leave it alone. Last one. Curve line down, crashes into that, leave it alone. Curve line down, crashes into that one, leave it alone. These are all overlaps. Every one is overlapping the other. You have to start on the little one on the bottom and work your way up, otherwise your lines get all goofy. Now, because these are pumpkins, I'm just going to add curve line, curve line, curve line. Work your way up. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Don't draw through your drawing. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Come over here. Curve line, 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 and one more curve line. Curve line, curve line, curve line. See how they all look like they're overlapping each other. Kind of cool. All right, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, the first thing I do is I color in all of my stems regular green, and you'll do a better job than I am right now. And this is basically so I can see where my drawings of my pumpkins actually are and which stem belongs to which group of curved lines. So I'm going to work my way up and do these all with regular green. Okay? Now, if you have regular orange, you would just color the rest of your pumpkins orange. But some of you might have a variation of orange. So this is regular orange, but I look through my crayons and I also have yellow orange, which I'm going to use. And I also have red orange, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to rotate my colors depending on which ones I used where. So this is orange. I'm going to use my red orange color in all my sections my big guy I'm going to put yellow orange and this also makes it a lot easier for you to see what you're doing now again if you don't have all these oranges you can just use your regular orange to color in every section of your pumpkins now be sure that even if you're using the same color for all your pumpkins, that you color each pumpkin as a separate entity. Don't goof, uh, group them all together. Okay? So here's all these oranges for all of these pumpkins. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is take my light green and just do curved lines in the background just to put a little bit of color and then I take my black and I fill in the background with these little dots little polka dots all the way just in the background okay just to add another delineation of detail and color okay all right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my pumpkin patch overlap. I have at least nine pumpkins. Try and get as many as you can, but nine is a good strong number. Okay, bye-bye.